Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me, John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Australian versus the US dollar as price continues to hold above the 0.67 level. Now, in the recent release of the RBA meeting minutes after April's meeting, we saw that they were keen to bring the inflation rate down within their targets and discussed that the recent pause in interest rates was only to gather information before they made a decision on whether they would continue to hike rates further. And they are willing to hike rates by more if it helps reduce the inflation rate down. Now seasonally, you can see here, I've got a seasonal chart just up here, which is provided by Markets Made Clear. And you can see that the Australian dollar is the worst performing currency. If I just zoom in here a little bit and just bring this up and grab a tool so that we can actually see what I'm talking about here. Uh, let's grab the pencil. You can see the Australian dollar is the top market there. Now there are two really worst performing months for the Australian dollar. One is May and the other is August. And you can see minus 1.96% change over a period of 20 years throughout the month of May. So could we potentially see this sort of sideways movement that we're seeing right now lead on to some weakness going into uh, the next month? Obviously, the RBA have been fairly hawkish in tone, so we may still see price range. However, I do feel that if price was to come up to the zero spot 68 handle here on price and we reject it again, it could lead to another move to the downside because if I just pop up to the weekly time frame, and I know we've talked about this in the past, but it looks like a very common pattern is forming on the Australian versus the US dollar. And you can see that we've impulsed down and we've gone sideways. Is this a flag pattern forming essentially or a pennant pattern forming? Now, typically with those type of patterns, price will uh, exit in the direction that it came into the pattern. So if it's, if it's coming from the top, we should see it exit through the bottom and continue to push lower. If that's the case, could price end up coming all the way back to the zero spot 6200 level, potentially? What I'm going to be looking for personally is if price rallies up into the zero spot 68 handle, maybe even breaks above it, but rejects back within as giving us a bit of a false breakout pattern. That would be a sign that the buyers were failing to close or drag price above those key highs and that they may bail out of their positions. And if they do, that could lead to a lot of selling pressure coming in on the Aussie US dollar. So that's something to consider if price does make it to the zero spot 68. Now on the flip side of that, if price does break through the zero spot 68 handle and holds above zero spot 68, that may open a door up to the to uh, the zero spot seven level. So we're gonna have to be a little bit cautious, but the key thing for us is that we can watch how price action forms around that zero spot 68. If it doesn't agree with our overall bias, we can sit out of the market and wait for another potential opportunity to form. So have a little look at that one. Thanks for watching the video update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more of our Forex trading content. And I'll speak to you very soon.